What's up guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. In this video guys, we're gonna be going over my top five combo bikes that I think are good for you guys in 2024. I've been in the bike life scene since 2017 and over the years, I've seen many different riders on many different kind of bikes, you know. Some of the best riders actually rode the smaller bikes and not more so like the 29 inch bikes. But I wanted to make a video for you guys today, pretty much going over the top five combo bikes. And there's many different kind of combo bikes. There's 26 inch bikes, there's 27 .5. Point five, the 29 inch bikes. In my opinion, those three size level bikes are the top three sizes when it comes to combos. The first bike that I want to talk about is the Monty Obama 27.5 inch. So the Monty Obama, 27.5 inch. I think this bike is a combo machine. I've seen riders like One Way Derek, One Way Martin, Being in Philly. A few other talented riders have been going crazy on these Mafia Bombers. I don't know what it is, but the Mafias have been coming up in the scene. I gotta give it to them on that. They're like taking over right now, low key, for the combo scene at least. I see a lot of combo riders on Mafia Bombers. Bike already comes with disc brakes. I think that's a plus. Doesn't come with no mechanical brakes. One thing I do think would make that bike cool is if the bike came with like hookworms or something. Check out my guy one way there going crazy down this bridge in Lake Worth, Florida. I mean, bro, the style that he has on this bomb is crazy. The slow, then the fast paced combo work, all still while maintaining that brake control. I mean, come on, that bike definitely, definitely got some combo powers up its sleeve because I was pretty impressed when I seen that. Mafia Bombers are fairly affordable. I think they're like $6.99, $5.99 or $6.99, one of the two, but they're fairly affordable. So I suggest riding from five foot to five foot nine to ride a Mafia Bomber. I think that'd be your perfect go-to. One way Derek's pretty tall too. So I think if you're a tall person wondering if that bike would be good for you, I mean, it's gonna be a little bit more on the smaller side, but you'll still be able to do the tricks that you wanna do controllably. Just because that bike is honestly designed for us. Check them out. By the way, this is not a sponsored ad or anything. I'm just doing this to help you guys out. By the way, we are currently downtown West Palm Beach. Calm solo Thursday vibe. I'm about to head toward the beach. The sun is about to start setting, so I might go catch a vibe. Do what it do. Let's talk about this next bike. And this bike is a freaking cheat code, dog. I swear this bike is a cheat code, dog. I got you. For the next bike, SE Fat Ripper or TK Ripper, either or, they're the same thing. The Fat Rippers are one of the best cheat codes when it comes to combos. Those super wide fat tires, I mean, dude, 26 inch rims, but wide fat tires. I mean, you can't beat it. You can't beat it, dog. If you're a beginner to combos and you don't know nothing about doing combos or tricks on a bike, in my opinion, the PK Ripper slash Fat Ripper is also a good beginner combo bike if you're first starting off and you want to learn something simple as a knee knock. I mean, those disc brakes and those wide fat tires are gonna keep you well balanced on the bike. Again, it's just the ultimate cheat code. I know guys like Patches, who's going crazy on those bikes. My guy, One Way Sammy, One Way Jojo. Like, just absolutely just be bugging on those bikes. So definitely, definitely, you gotta check out the Fat Rippers. I have a link to every bike that I'm talking about in this video in the description below if you wanna check them out. I think those bikes range at 1,099 bucks. Uh, you could probably get one use for like 750 650 the lowest if you're a rider that's like four foot eight all the way up to like five foot seven five foot eight definitely definitely check out the pk rippers fat rippers they're 26 inch i've seen people put 27.5 rims on fat rippers so if you did want to change the rims on that bike you could you might just have to change the forks as well but yeah we're about to head toward the beach though see what it's looking like over there This one though. Whew. 
<laughs> so let's talk about my next favorite combo bike this is third on my list guys this is one of my favorite bikes out right now i don't own one yet i'm looking to buy one soon though this bike is a 27.5 one of those bikes that if i do get i probably won't ride it just because i'm too tall for it but it is a cool looking bike to have but anyways let's jump into it the dz throne edition dude that thing is clean that thing is super clean i remember when i first heard about it coming out in like 2020 dz man professional rider from socal very humble individual uh, my guy has been in some commercials i gotta check him out check out his bike uh, one of my favorite things about the dz throne edition is it has stronger axles so for you combo guys out there you guys don't have to worry too much about your axles bending i know that's a main concern with these bikes is bending your axle when you're doing combos fortunately throne decided to make that bike come with stronger axles so that's a plus in my book this bike offers free air so anytime i'm in the area i always try to toss some air in my rear tire just in case you know you never know I gotta get new tires soon. Those Bozaks are about to leave the chat. Oh yeah, feels way smoother. I think every combo bike should come with bigger axles. I wish more bike companies considered that because a lot of these riders do like to do tricks on their bike. Not everyone just wants to cruise around and just do wheelies and stuff. Like some people actually have combo works. I've never seen too many combo riders in South Florida with the th DZ Thrones, but definitely in Cali, they be snapping on them. DZ himself be going crazy on that bike. And I think that's an underrated bike when it comes to combos. Another one of my favorite things about the DZ Throne is that it comes with four piece handlebars. Now, most of my bikes, I run four piece handlebars and I think four piece handlebars are super super comfortable handlebars to run on a bike i just think that's a plus that a bike like that comes with handlebars super smooth damn man it would be a crime i ain't even trying to get in trouble for riding on this golf course but we had to come take a peek real quick definitely a vibe four piece handlebars make it super comfortable oh my god that bird is yapping the four piece handlebars make yo what's going on bro i'm trying to film Y'all having a yap sesh. Those handlebars just make the bike just super comfortable for Willie. So check them out. That bike retails at $6.99. And my suggested ride height, if you are five foot, anywhere between five foot and six foot tall. That's my suggested ride height for the 27.5 DZ Throne Edition. Check them out. Link is in the description below. Shout out to DZ. Shout out to Throne. Definitely designed a cool bike. Now, if you guys are OG on my channel, you guys will know that the Fast Sippers are one of my favorite bikes that I've ever owned. I've owned about four to maybe five Fast Sippers. And man, if you set those bikes up properly, I mean, dude, cut up machine, combo machine, just straight up. That bike is a size 29 inch, so a little bit bigger than those 27.5s and those 26 inch. In my opinion, I think those bikes are better for taller people. You're more comfortable on the bike. You're more stable on the bike. You're easier to learn how to wheelie on a 29 inch as a tall person than it is to learn on a smaller 26 or 27.5. And definitely don't go anything below 26 inch if you're trying to learn how to wheelie. Get a bike that's gonna fit you. The only thing that sucks about fast shippers though is the axles are known for bending, known for not being able to hold up the weight of heavier people. So I would recommend trying to find a stronger axle or maybe get some high quality pegs such as Merit pegs because over time that axle just slowly starts bending. So keep an eye on, on that, that is one of the weakest length of the fast zippers but overall it's a, it's a good combo machine it's a good cut up machine it's a go-to bike for sure one of my favorite if you set it up with some nice four piece handlebars or super big honkins i mean bro can't go wrong check them out you could definitely pick one up for like brand new 1100 bucks but used probably run you like 800 700 800 bucks for a used yeah, fast shipper but either or i mean dude you can't go wrong with it now the next bike that we're gonna talk about and it's the last bike of my top five most combo bikes to buy best combo bikes to buy actually is the blackout bmx 29 inch these new blackout spikes come with disc brakes i think that's super underrated because those bikes kind of give me big ripper vibe you know they're kind of designed like a big ripper but they're different i think the plus about those bikes is it comes with hookworms already 
comes with hydraulic disc brakes and also the, the axles on those bikes are bigger but they're the same axles that come on the, the DZ Thrones, those stronger axles in my opinion for combos those are one of the best axles to go to i think they're the 14 millimeters if i'm not mistaken but yeah a bike that already comes with hookworms disc brake and it's 29 inch i mean dude slap some pegs on it if it doesn't come with pegs and you should be chilling here's some clips of my boy one way geo going crazy on that bike when i last seen him in miami for mlk but yeah guys definitely 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 check out the black ops bmx 29 inch in my opinion that bike is super underrated and there's not too many of them around Around. who knows maybe in the near future i might pick one up i need to i need to start trying out new bikes man i need to start trying out new brands and stuff those bikes retail at 7.99 and the suggested rider height for that bike is five foot five six foot five and up you know put it like this if you're under six foot you're gonna want to look at the 26 inch and the 27.5 and see which one you like but preferably if you're like five foot five and close to being six foot you're gonna want to look at 27.5s because 27.5s is that mid-range between 26 and 29 it's like that just that bigger size up so but if you're six foot and up you're gonna want to go with 29 inch bikes for sure I'm a six foot five rider, so I'm comfortable on pretty much any 29 inch bike. I know I yapped about top five combo bikes and people are gonna say, but Steezy, you don't even do combos. So how do you know what's a good combo bike? I observe a lot of the riders in the scene and I see what kind of bikes people ride. I see what style they have on that certain bike. I wanted to make this video based off of those statistics. So definitely, definitely, definitely. I think riders, you know, should know these kind of things before they go out and buy their next bike or if they're looking to buy their next bike or want to have something specifically for combos. Hopefully this video could help you out. Now there is many more other bikes that you could do combos on but as far as something that is easy to go easy to learn on i think those are my top five start from the top first is going to be a mafia bomber second the fat ripper that's a 26 inch the mafia bomber is a 27.5 third the dz throne edition that's the 27.5 fourth the fast ripper one of my favorites that's a 29 inch and last but not least fifth black ops bmx also a 29 inch links to all bike down in the description below guys we're about to head downtown this caught a vibe by the beach and yeah the sun's about to set right through downtown catch some blocks and this bike will be getting disc brakes soon waiting on my new sprocket to come from right out supply as soon as that comes in the mail i'm gonna cut some links off the chain add that disc brake in the rear and probably slap some mt200 shimano hydraulic disc brakes on this bike and this would be my little disc brake cut up machine. This is a bike I want to just keep stock, keep crispy. Not keep stock, I already, I'm already doing mods to it, but keep crispy and keep clean. I don't want to do too much to it. This is one of my favorite docks to come to. I mean, clearly guys, one of my go-to docks. I'm gonna try to make a U-turn down there. See how good my skills are. I wish I could do that. <laughs> I wish I could just ride up that. I can wheelie off it though. Just gotta tighten up them V brakes because I definitely don't trust them. I don't trust the V brakes for nothing, y'all. So I don't even be trying to over test my luck when it comes to doing little tricks like that. I like jumping this bike. Oh, was sketchy. Different. 
Oh, I see a security guard up there. Hopefully I was able to help you guys find your next combo bike. Give this video up a like. If it did, if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe. It really helps out a lot. And I'm gonna catch you guys in the next video.